So could you tell me a little about the last contact you had with Philae and uh, what you've learned about how much science has been done and uh, the general health of the lander? Well, the lander is, is healthy as it is. We had a, a contact as we had before in this visibility slot. Uh, we have downloaded the science data from last night, which included uh, data from MUPUS, this hammering instrument, and uh, APX, uh, and again, uh, COSAC and Ptolemy uh, sniffing data. Uh, I don't know yet what was actually in these science packets. So while I was here at the press conference, uh, our colleagues were analyzing those data, so I don't know uh, the results, but we got nice data. What we also did during this uh, slot was uploading a new sequence. Um, we started to drill already. The drill is activated, as we've seen, uh, but now in the non-visibility phase, um, we will perform the complete drilling, the sampling, uh, we will get samples into a little oven and analyze it with a gas chromatographer uh, and mass spectrometer and hopefully uh, the battery has enough energy that we can transfer these data uh, later tonight when we have visibility with the orbiter again. And the battery is the big question now, how much life is left? Um, do you have any idea at this point how long fillet will last? It's it's really marginal, so the battery should still have something like 110 watt hours for these measurements. We need something like 80, 90, but you know, this is a battery that's been 10 years in space. There is some degradation. Uh, we've modeled this degradation, but this is all very, very difficult to predict with this accuracy. So it will be very exciting tonight whether or not we get data. And uh, if you don't get data tonight, then that's pretty much it. The battery's dead, and uh, for the short term, there's probably little hope. For short term, I'm afraid there is little hope. For long term, we have one solar generator which is illuminated every cometary day. Short though, but it is illumi illuminated. Uh, so there is some hope that at some stage, when we are closer to the sun, uh, Fila wakes up again and talks to us. But this is. We, we need to be very lucky that this happens. And right now, as things stand, what's the scoreboard as far as how much science you've actually managed to collect? We have tremendous science. We have wonderful results from the instruments. Uh, I, I don't know of those measurements which just came down right here, but the packets look nice, okay. I don't know what, what's the science behind here. So I would say we are in the 80-90% in the range of the science we could achieve. Thank you very much. Okay, you're welcome.